Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Brent, and as you're seeing right now, I believe we stumbled upon the grossest car on our entire channel. Not only is it the grossest, but it's also the best transformation we've ever done. And I know this is a bold statement, but I'm gonna say it anyways. I think this is the best transformation on all of YouTube. You'll have to watch the entire video and decide for yourselves, but when you see even just how the carpets turned out, I think you'll agree with me. We also got the owner's reaction at the end of the video and he by far gave us the best reaction we've ever had. The guy was awesome. And if you're wondering how a car can even get like this, we found a leak in the sunroof because it was clogged with dirt, leaves, sticks, and more so it couldn't fully close. And the car sat outside for quite a while. The last time the license plate tags were renewed were in 2015. So yeah, if you guys enjoy these types of videos, please take a second and smash the like button right now as it helps more people find us. And also subscribe to the channel because we set a goal of 300,000 subscribers by the end of this year. And I know we can do it. You guys support us day in and day out. So let's keep killing the game. And the last thing I want to do is ask the question of the video. So leave your answers in the comments below. After just seeing this B-roll and seeing what condition the car is in, with your current knowledge of detailing, I know some of you guys are detailers that watch us. Some of you just like the satisfying stuff. And some of you just do it at home for fun. How good of a job do you think you could do on this car? Or what would be your stopping point if there was a point where you're like, yeah, I'm just not going to touch this. Would it be the beginning? Or do you think that you just wouldn't be able to get the car 100%? Or do you think you could do a better job than us? Leave it in the comments below. So knowing there was a bad leak in the sunroof, it made the most sense to do the exterior first because some water was obviously going to get inside the interior and it wouldn't make sense to clean the whole inside just to have water drip in there. So we went ahead and started with the wheels and then sprayed the entire car off with some degreaser because it was sitting for so long. And then we got to the initial rinse and the initial rinse is actually really satisfying. So hope you guys enjoy this part. Okay, so while we move on to the engine bay, I want to take a second to explain what our main goals for this car were. The owner really plans on replacing a lot of stuff and he wants to get this car running again because he loved it so much. So as detailers, our main objective is just to make it clean and safe for the mechanics to work on it because I promise you no mechanic will touch a car in this condition, nor would they want to and I don't blame them. So our main goals, get this car clean, get it safe to work on, and most importantly, make the customer happy.
After getting the paint washed, we'll go ahead and cover it with iron fault remover, clay bar it, rinse it off again, and then dry the entire car. Now the owner wasn't even expecting us to do the exterior, but we thought we'd go the extra mile and clear up his headlights for him too. And I forgot to get a clip of it, but we also sealed them afterwards, that way the haze wouldn't come back. For some protection, we went ahead and covered the entire car with Colonite 845 and used our Rupes buffer. This is one of our favorite waxes because it lasts quite a while and it's very high quality. And now this is the part I'm sure a lot of you have been waiting for, or if you skip to this part just to see the interior, I'm going to say it again, please hit the subscribe button. We're trying to hit 300K by the end of this year. The first thing we did before touching anything inside the car was ozone it, and we actually left it for two hours. So we put it in there, we left, we came back two hours later, we were finally ready to do the interior, and that just helps kill all the bacteria off and make it much more safe for us and the owner. Now, I'm sure there's gonna be mixed responses in the comments for this, but we ended up not being able to take out the carpet. It's not that we didn't want to. We pulled off some of the interior plastic trim to see if we could actually pull it out. And for some reason, maybe you guys can answer this in the comments because I've never seen this before, but the carpet was completely stapled in. I don't know how or why they would do that. I don't know if that's something that Lexus did or what, but because we're just detailers, and we were just getting this car ready to be worked on. We weren't gonna pull out every single staple, take the carpet out, put it back in. It just didn't make sense. And I'm sure if the owner wants to change the carpet when he's ready, he'll go ahead and rip that all out. But for us to do that, it just didn't make much sense. So we cleaned it in the car as best as we could. And afterwards, when the carpet was completely clean, if you look where the seat bolts go in, there's two little holes. And I actually sat there for 15 minutes with the vacuum attachment, just running the vacuum, sucking all the water out. And I got like 99% of it out. So let us know what you would have done differently. I feel like we did the best we could without pulling all those staples out. And just watch the transformation we were able to get out of this carpet. It's actually mind blowing.
Now moving on to the rest of the interior, it's basically the same process for almost everything because it was covered in mold. So the cleaner we went with is the same one we used in our last moldy video, which is TriClean. And then we also used a combination of brushes, our Tornador attachment, our McCulloch steamer, and the drill brush to try to get everything as good looking as it possibly could. And we also touched up the headliner, which you guys are always asking to see. So we filmed some of that as well.
And with the carpet all clean, that water that came out of there was disgusting. You don't want to have smelled that. It was gross. But to finish up the detail, we went ahead, put the seats back in. We made sure to get everything as dry as possible. We did the windows and put some dressing on the interior, but not the seats because we recommended he get new ones. And don't forget his reactions at the end of the video. You don't want to miss it.
All right, guys, so we're here with the owner of the car, Josh. Uh, Josh, tell us real quick like about this car, how, like, what it means to you, why it was important for you to get cleaned up to take to the shop to get fixed. Well, man, first of all, I had this car for about 11 years. I bought it back in 2010. I bought it as a, a present to myself because I'm actually an independent uh, record label owner. I have a record label, it's called Busback Records, where we do hip hop and R&B, jazz, whatever, really, we could do whatever, but that's what we specialize in, hip hop and R&B. So I bought that as a present to myself, you know, cause I had ended up releasing a, a project or whatever. So I was like, man, I released a project, I worked hard on it, I was gonna buy me this car, you know, and that's my dream car, a GS300, you know, Bubble Eye Lexus is what they used to call them back in the day, man. So I ended up letting, you know, one of my brothers drive it for a while, and we didn't take care of it the right way, man. So I just had it sitting. So I was like, you know what, man? I missed it. My first foreign car, I was in love with it. You know what I'm saying? So I said, man, I'm, I'm going to try to get it together, man. And uh, I ended up coming across you guys, man. Yeah, it's crazy. And you ended up being, you know, not too far away from us here in Cleveland. Yeah. Uh, and uh, when you called, you explained a little bit about the car to me. And I was like, man, that sounds like it'd be good for a video. And you're like, dude, it'll be perfect for a video. Yeah. And sure enough, man, it was it was perfect for a video. Yeah, man. Um, but uh, yeah, without uh, babbling too much, let's. Uh, he hasn't even looked yet, guys. So. I haven't even looked. So let's go take a look now. <laughs> the outside came out came out well too. Whoa! <laughs> I don't even recognize this car no more, man. <laughs> Damn! Let me pull this out before uh, before you take a look at the interior, because this was like the the moment that I wanted you to see. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Bro, <laughs> that's crazy, man. I ain't seen it look that. <laughs> that is unbelievable, man. Like, oh my God, I don't even recognize this car no more, man. <laughs> what a jump, man. Oh my God, this is crazy. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. The whip. Oh my God. Yeah, this is man. probably our best transformation of all time. Like I and then and this. like we were blown away with you know remember how the pillars had oh. all the mold running up yeah. all the way up to here, I mean they came out almost brand new. Wow. Yeah. Oh my God, man! I'm so excited, <laughs> man! I can't believe this car looked like this now, man. Yeah. No, honestly, we can't believe it either. This was uh, this this we did not think. I kept saying like, you know, people are going to complain say that we need to redye the carpeting. And there is one spot under, right under here, you can still see it's a little purple. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if that was just from rust from the, the seat rails or what, but mm -hmm. um, that was about the only area that we really had trouble, uh, you know, making look brand new again, or at least close to like new again. Right. But the rest of it, I mean, it really, it really ended up <laughs> better than we expected. So Man, I can't believe, man, I'm super duper yeah. happy, man. Now, like, I, I will say that, uh, you know, with the condition that it was in, mm -hmm. uh, more than likely, because I know we talked about the back seat, you'll, mm -hmm. you'll have to probably look for a new seat yeah, or at least new rails yeah. uh, so you can bolt in the back again. But, um, you know, the carpeting, if you do find a donor car that has, you know, the same seats, the sa you know, it's the same car and it has the seats. Yeah probably pull the carpeting and have the carpeting just replaced because I was we gonna do that anyway yeah because we didn't replace it but you know the goal for this this detail was to make it good enough or at least clean enough for the mechanic to jump in there and, and do his you know get exactly. it back to running order so man I, I'm speechless man I'm, <laughs> I'm super duper excited it was grass growing in this car man I know it's disgusting <laughs> but it's the truth you know yeah it was grass growing people man, in the community post were like man go get a weed whacker or, or, yeah they probably will say or, that man. Hey, oh, it's yeah. over with now man because I didn't came to the best detailing people in the whole state of Ohio man <laughs> my boy RJ my boy Brent man WD detailing make sure y'all get with these boys because they gonna have your car looking like mine it's probably better man <laughs> yeah well with that outro uh uh, the last thing I have to say is uh, if you like the video, like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, until next week.